Master Sima Yi, the Shu army has begun to retreat. I see. At last. At last, Zhuge Liang has finally met his end. Zhao, can you chase after them? Well, actually, there's a little problem on that front. The Shu forces are retreating in a perfectly unbroken line, and their retreat is defended by a number of traps. If we chase after them, we'll end up being the ones who take damage. That must also be the work of Zhuge Liang. It seems he planned for his possible retreat as well as their assault. He truly is one of the great talents of this land. I doubt we will ever face another of his ability. This should keep Shu and Wu off our backs for a while. Now, we can turn our attention to our internal enemies. We must deal with those who... Zhuge Liang marches north to fulfill the dreams of the late Liu Bei. However, he faces a counterattack by Sima Yi and dies at Ujang Plains before he is able to push his way through. His successor, Jiang Wei, is left with no choice but to stabilize domestic affairs for a time. Wu, who had joined Shu in an attack on Wei, was in similar circumstances. Troops and commoners were exhausted thanks to the continuous fighting, and time was required to restore Wu's strength. With the attack by Wu and Shu ending in failure, Wei has a moment of peace from attacking enemies. However, there was one enemy Wei had to deal with during this period. Father, mother, you wanted to see us. Rumors are flying that Gong Shun Yuan has instigated a rebellion. Is that what this is all about? That is correct. We have received orders from the Wei Emperor, Master Cao Rue. We are to quickly head to Liao Dong and defeat Gong Shun Yuan. You're here in Luo Yang, and they want you to go all the way to Liao Dong. Why? Isn't there anyone else closer? In the Central Plains, for example? Hmm. <laughs> Guan Xiu Jiang already set out for the battle. However, he is an imbecile who relies on brute strength. He was soundly defeated and forced to flee to Shochun. Having defeated Master Guan Xiu Jiang, Gong Sun Yuan seems to have got even more ideas above his station. What a pitiful little man he is. It will prove to be problematic if Gong Sun Yuan is able to take Shochun and allow Wu to invade him. That is why we must eliminate him as quickly as possible. However, before that, she, I want you to lead our forces for this battle. You want our brother to lead? Won't you be fighting, father? Why is it that you have to have everything explained to you before you understand? This is for the sake of your development. Your father wants to teach you as much as he can while he is still able. Yes. Even though Zhuge Liang is gone, there are still many obstacles to us uniting the land. I doubt that I can deal with them all in my lifetime. Therefore, I want you to distinguish yourself in this battle, so that you may succeed me after I am gone. What do you think, Shi? It is an honor, my lord. 
I will defeat Gong Sun Yuan and fight in a way that will make you proud. And with you in charge, brother, the troops will have complete confidence in our leadership. Indeed, she. Finish making your preparations and head for Liao Dong. Xiao, I want you to do whatever you can to support your brother. Why is he suddenly leaving everything to brother to take care of? Maybe father just can't be bothered with it all anymore. Ugh. What's with the sighing, Yuanji? You tired? Master Zhao, I believe you are being facetious on purpose now. Censoring you every time you must speak is starting to become tedious. But I really feel like everyone's just trying too hard. You know? The previous emperor, father, brother, even Gong Sun Yuan, and the people of Shu. There's no need to create conflict where there is none. <laughs> That's true. If every kingdom were led by one as laid back as you, I doubt very much whether this land would be in such a state of war. Oh, Jia Chong. Where have you been lately? I didn't see you in Luo Yang. I've had certain matters to attend to, but those are finished now. I will participate in a campaign against Gong Sun Yuan. But I should warn you, Zhao, you need to be careful. Up until the Wuzheng Plains, we survived on Master Sima Yi's quick thinking. But there are those now who despise the Sima clan. What? There are also those who see us as the hope for the future. The kingdom is on the verge of being split in two, and I don't like it. Then you must support Master Shi to ensure that the kingdom stays together. I am sure he is counting on you. You think so? My brother's pretty capable of doing everything on his own. I don't think he needs my help. That's just another excuse for you to avoid work. I'm keeping a close eye on you, you know, to make sure you're not getting too lazy. Hehehe. <laughs> I'll offer what help I can, too. All you need to do is show some gratitude. Thank you. Both of you. Gong Soon Yuan seems to have rejected our demands for him to surrender. What a fool he is, digging his own grave like that. There is no reason for us to keep him alive anymore. If we show him mercy, it will only hurt us in the end. The best solution for Wei is to respond uncompromisingly. That's your solution, is it? I must say, you're more decisive than your father. I can't imagine who you take after. Brother, Wu has responded to Gong Sun Yuan's request for help. The Wu forces have been divided in two and are advancing towards us. They intend to strike us from the rear. This could be a major problem. Do not worry, Zhao. Wu will be troublesome, to be sure. But it is not as if the movements of each unit will be perfectly coordinated. Depending on how they attack, we may be able to use that against them. We must remain calm and observe the enemy closely. Nice thinking, brother. I'll give all I have to make sure your first battle in charge goes without a hitch. She, I look forward to seeing what you can accomplish. Of course, it goes without saying that you must not bring shame upon our family's reputation. The enemy is in Xiangping Castle! We must slay Gong Sun Yuan and quell this rebellion!
let the enemy pass through. We must defend it with our lives. <laughs> Attempting to break through our defenses. We must launch our siege weapons straight back! This should finish you off. Halt! We must stay and defend this position. some work. Let's start marching. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale.
Yeah! Oh. 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 Oh
that position. Follow me! You perform great as always. There was no need for my strategy. It shall be my pleasure to face you in battle. Okay, let's get started. tooth and nail to keep this place safe. I knew this battle was a bad idea. Good. Now I can finally go home. Amazing! You sure know how to fight! Hey! Get on in here! Come again! Welcome, welcome! Do please come again!
Okay, let's go. We must smash the enemy army and ensure that our plan is a success. Report. Lord Ding Fong has retreated from the encampment. This is my end. But we never work without Master Ding. It will be difficult, but we must overcome the situation. Our archers on the ships are hitting their targets. This will give us a considerable advantage for this battle. The defenses here are stretched thin. We must bolster them at all costs. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. We are to attack enemy territory. Everybody, follow me! Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. This should finish you off. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. strategy on my own. I am forced to fall back for now and to regroup. The forces of Oop have been seen off. I think they did have some sort of plan, but well, who cares? Good. Now I can finally go home. You are unstoppable! are attacking from the west? Have they come by boat? Zhao, why don't you try this hard all the time? King of Yan. The enemy is going to attack us here. Everyone prepare to defend this spot. Try and stop. Ah! <laughs> 
Damn it! I'm finished! King of Yan! Please avenge me! Wow! You have that certain aura that surrounds great warriors. Alright! Let's go take that area over there! Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Okay, let's get started. Defensive line means nothing to them. Retreat before it's too late. Jeff. All right. We've broken down the enemy front lines. Now it's time to begin the march to Xiangping. Good. Now I can finally go home. You are unstoppable! That area over there. Resist the enemy from within the castle, everyone. We must make this a test of stamina and wait the enemy out. Belongs to us now. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Let us go and remove this eyesore that is the enemy base. <laughs> See what you can accomplish if you put your mind to it. Let us go and remove this eyesore that is the enemy base. Such great strength. I'm pulling back for now. Zal, if you are capable of such a feat, you should apply yourself more. That certain aura that surrounds great warriors. Try and stop. Is it human nature to want something because it belongs to someone else? <laughs> 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 
Opponents. Gong Sun Yuan's entire family is to be executed. I believe his brother is in Luo Yang. Do not let him get away. Do you really have to go that far, brother? I mean, it was Gong Sun Huan who told us that his brother was likely planning a rebellion and advised us how best to handle it. They may not have any intention of rebelling now, Zhao. But if we allow their blood to remain, there will come a time when they resent what has happened to their family. We must snuff out any chance of that right now. <laughs> Xi, I see you have become quite merciless. I have ceded control to you, so I will refrain from criticizing your decisions. However, even if you are in the right, a lack of mercy can lead to new problems. See, brother? Even father thinks you're overdoing it. Why don't you reconsider? Father is right, certainly. But if I prove that my response to any uprising will be totally uncompromising, then fear will rule the day, and none will dare rebel. A firm hand is needed to bring peace to this land. Was that not the policy of the previous emperor, Master Cao Pi? My lord husband, you said you would leave this to Xi, and now you are interfering in his decisions. And Xi? You're so terribly stubborn. Why must the men of this family always be like this? I think that's enough, mother. <clears throat> are you saying we are alike? Fine. We shall see your plan through to the end. Come on, father, brother, we've done our duty. I think it's time we headed back to Luo Yang. Master Sima Yi, you did well in dealing with Gong Sun Yuan. However, while you were gone, our Imperial Highness's condition worsened, and he passed away. I see. That is most unfortunate. Master Cao Rue shared Master Cao Pi's great wisdom. This is a massive blow to Wei. Crown Prince Cao Feng is still quite young. I believe you have already heard from Master Cao Rue, but you and I are to serve as Master Cao Feng's advisors. Um, yes, I was told as much. I wish to consult you on something. Xu has long stationed troops in Hangzhou, but they have begun to pull them out recently. We have long been at war with Xu. Is this not an ideal opportunity to eliminate them for good? Hmm, <laughs> that is perhaps the most idiotic idea I have ever heard. The reason Shu pulled out their troops from Hanshan was to station them where it is easier to receive supplies. If we attack them now, we will incur heavy losses. Uh, it doesn't matter what you think, as I have already secured permission for this attack on Shu. You will do as you're told. Hmm. Father, are we seriously going to war against Chu? We've only just put down an internal rebellion, and the East is still a long way from stability. You are right, Zhao. However, this is the decision of Master Cao Shuang. 
He appears to have made the arrangements while we were away. The Grand General, Master Cao Shuang. Frankly, I can't see what we have to gain from attacking Shu right now. I think Master Cao Shuang simply desires to have a military achievement under his belt. Unlike Father, who has been appointed regent alongside him, he has little battlefield experience. A military achievement? Why does it have to be military? Once the war is ended, battlefield feats won't mean a thing anyway. I do not think that imbecile is capable of such foresight. I believe the reason he is pushing for this battle is to strip me of my authority. I am certain that he was manipulated by Master Cao Cao's adopted son, Master He Eon, and his followers. He used to be much more honest and straightforward. But father, if we do attack the way he wants, we will end up meeting the Shu forces at Mount Xingxi. That is a very difficult place to manipulate troops. With the inexperienced Master Cao Shuang in charge, we have little chance of victory. Should we not try and find a way to avoid this? I agree with brother. I don't want to follow that idiot halfway up a mountain, when I could be relaxing here in Luoyang instead. I do not wish to participate in this pointless battle. But I cannot simply ignore Master Cao Shuang's orders. I want both of you to accompany me to Mount Xingxi. She, I see. I have heard of your exploits in defeating Gong Su Yuan. Fine work. So, may I ask what business you have with me? As the Grand General of the Wei Army, I am a little busy, you see. If you will forgive me, my lord, I have one or two concerns regarding our formations for this battle which I would like to raise with you. At the present moment, our forces are heavily weighted towards the front lines. If we sustain an attack from the rear, the frontline units will be dangerously isolated. The area around Hanchong is replete with narrow alleyways and paths, and is made for surprise raids. I feel we should redistribute our forces towards the rear to guard against that. Hmm. You Sima men are all alike. With your petty concerns and tricky rhetoric, forget about enemy raids. All we need do is defeat Shu before that happens. But now you're just being unrealistic. You can't afford to underestimate the enemy like that. Listen, this battle is led by the mighty Tao clan. We will use our superior numbers to crush the enemy and win with honor. That's the way we do things. I will lead a unit on the front lines myself and raise our flag when we claim Han Zhang. You two can sit here and worry needlessly if you like. In other words, he has no particular plan, and simply intends to throw his forces against the enemies. If that's all it took to defeat Shu, better men than him would have done it long ago. Indeed. I barely know what to say to such idiocy. But there is no need for us to behave as irresponsibly as him. Come. This may not be a battle we can win, but we can certainly do our best to keep casualties to a minimum. be no match for me once I get into things. I think I'll begin by taking down Hong Chong. Sneak attack on the way base. If we can claim it, 
We should be able to exert pressure on the enemy's main camp. <laughs> for us to occupy. That is our destination. Try this hard all the time. Let's go. Now is the time to attack. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Oh. 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 to claim a single, measly base. We have kept the enemy forces at bay. Then it is time for us to turn to the attack. Good. Now I can finally go home. Wow! You have that certain aura that surrounds great warriors. <laughs> <laughs> 